The FEMA Reconstruction Interlocking Nail System is available in two variations, Reconstruction Locking Nail and Standard Locking Nail, which can be determined by the doctor according to the fracture type. The implant was made of a titanium alloy material and applied with a neck angle of 125 degrees and a femoral neck antiversion of 10 degrees to allow the screw to be inserted in the optimal position. Implant consists of five proximal locking screw holes and four distal locking screw holes. The screw hole is a semi-locking hole mechanism to prevent loosening, enabling more stable treatment. Position the patient in the supine position on the table for the procedure. The unaffected leg is abducted as far as possible to ease image intensifier positioning. This will also allow easier access to entry point. Make an incision in the surgical site and confirm the guide pin insertion location by palpating the tip of the greater trochanter. Insert the instrument with the combination of protection sleeve, drill sleeve, and trocar into the incision to position the guide pin to be inserted. Remove the trocar and insert the guide pin combined with the power drill or guide pin holder into the appropriate location. Remove the drill sleeve and insert the open reamer along the guide pin to drill until the head of the reamer reaches the proper position. Then remove the open reamer and guide pin in turn. Alternatively, opening the medullary canal may be performed using a primary awl. Insert the reaming rod with the ball tip to the desired depth. Using a flexible reamer shaft, reaming is carried out along the reaming rod to the desired size by starting with an 8.0 mm reamer head and increasing by 0.5 mm. The reaming is 1.5 mm larger than the diameter of the nail to be used and the reaming rod with the ball tip is not removed even after reaming is completed. Prepare a nail of appropriate length and combine the nail and the assembly handle in the correct direction with an assembly bolt. When the nail and assemble handle are combined, insert the nail along the reaming rod. In order to prevent additional damage, the nail is inserted by turning it in the lateral direction while inserting it anterior based on the assembly handle according to the curve of the bone. Attach the impact handle to the assemble handle as necessary. Use light, controlled hammer blows to seat the nail, insert it into the desired position, and finish. Check the nail endpoints of the nail with the barrel gauge of the assemble handle marked 5 mm apart. When the insertion is complete, remove the reaming rod. Assemble the target guide on the assembly handle and insert the guide pin into the nail endpoint, targeting to check the depth according to the end of the nail. After selecting the screw hole suitable for standard mode, insert the sleeve combination for standard. Standard mode has two screw types that can be selected and applied according to the type of fracture or the doctor's preference. Remove the trocar from the standard combination of protection sleeve, drill sleeve, and trocar. Then drill until the drill bit penetrates both cortex. After removing the drill sleeve, measure the depth with a depth gauge to determine the length of the screw and insert the screw using a screwdriver. The remaining screws can be inserted in the same way. Check the nail position and insert the sleeve combination into the target device hole. After removing the trocar and inserting the guide pin, use radiographs to confirm that the guide pin position is 10 millimeters away from the end of the femoral head. Insert two guide pins in the same way. Remove the drill sleeve. Set the location so that the length measured and the behind number of the step drill stopper is the same, then drill.
Attach the screwdriver to the screw head and insert the screw pass through the protection sleeve. The cannulated lag screw is inserted along the inserted guide pin. And the solid type lag screw is inserted after removing the guide pin. The distance between the two 6.5 mm screws inserted into the proximal hole of the reconstruction locking nail is 18 mm, allowing stable treatment for fractures of thin bones in women and the elderly. Distal screw insertion should be done using the free hand technique. Drill to the center of the screw hole using the free handle drill guide. Check the depth with a depth gauge and then insert the screw. Attach the selected end cap to the end cap driver and rotate the coupling screw inserted into the driver to fasten the end cap to the driver. Insert the fixed end cap into the top of the nail to tighten. When the end cap is secured on the nail, release the coupling screw and remove it from the driver to complete the procedure.